Dr. Disrespect will join Rumble and also provide exclusive content to Rumble Premium. If you don't know who the doc is... Johnny, you are the man. Johnny, you are, you the, are man. the man. The doc is a giant streamer. I'm really excited about it uh, because I'm, I've am i only watched a very, very small amount of this guy's channel. But it honestly inspired me i saw it and i was like this is special this is different this is some a way that i want to model my streams around a little bit because the way th that doc does stuff is different than other gaming streamers it's than other content creators and so i'm just like hey i want to be involved with the chat the way I try to be. I want to add some cool special effects and different views and different cool things in the way that I do stuff. And a lot of that I saw and it was inspired by this guy, Dr. Disrespect. So I'm really excited about it. Rumble says Dr. Disrespect will lead Rumble Gaming and join Rumble Premium. So it shows uh, they announced today that he's going to be joining. Uh, it says as part of an agreement that includes equity with milestones as a majority of its compensation. So the doc is going to get some part ownership of rumble. It sounds like. Holy shit. Support our rights with a 50. It says for the battery fund. Thanks for what you do. That's so awesome. Thank you. Seriously. That's huge. That's great. Fisher says Doc is a pedo got booted for twice for sexting a child. No, that's not what happened. They all assume that's what happened and they tried to push that narrative, but that's not what happened. So it's that's the whole point. It's I mean, just apply the Trump rule to the doc. So a lot of people assume based off of limited information that's twisted and shared, and then you end up with a narrative created to slander somebody. So that's, that's just not what happened, man. That's what they tried to say happened. My little brother said the same thing. I was like, Hey, I feel like we might be getting the doc. And then he lost his shit. And he's like, that guy's a pedophile. I'm like, no dude, like that's the narrative. They tried to go after him because he doesn't really play ball. He does his own thing. I wouldn't say he's like hyper conservative, but he's not going to toe the line for the crazy wokesters. Now, he did share a little uh, clip, which I'm going to watch with you guys for the first time uh, as his trailer to the to the show coming to Rumble. So let's check that out. Like I said, you know, I, I don't know everything about this guy. I know he's an imperfect human being for sure, uh, but I'm really excited that we're going to have this joining in. And I have an announcement after the fact, so you can hear that, too. All right, Doc, what do you got for us? From the ashes of the old rises the new. A movement. A force. And you'll know exactly who's in charge. The two time. What's coming next isn't just a chapter, it's a new book. And trust me, you won't want to miss a single word. This isn't just a move, it's a revolution. Welcome to Rumble, Rumble, Rumble. Dude, that's a gaming streamer's freaking edit, okay? That's sick. You said you posted a message on Twitter and then deleted it. Say he did it, so yeah, not buying it. Again, he did it as bait, okay? They pushed the narrative and he said that he had a semi inappropriate message with someone on whisper message. And then he added every part of it was staged so that he could get free from that when they started to slander him. So they broke all of their agreements in airing the dirty laundry and they brought part of it out just like he said part of it in there. But then he said, I never said that it was a weird sex pedophile thing. It was a semi inappropriate message to somebody like a decade ago. And the guy, the guy, his name, Dr. Disrespect, 
is Guy, and I forgot what his last name is, but he posted on this as well. So I can show you guys. Guy Bam? Beam? Beam? Bam? I don't know how you pronounce it. It's okay. But it says, he wrote, Biggest opportunity today, and I'm here for the challenge. Crazy to think a type of class of people tried to cancel us and create a false, exaggerated narrative about something from almost a decade ago. They embarrassed my family and I. And with all that false negative energy, YouTube decided to act as well and take my livelihood away by demonetizing us without any real explanation. Months later, we're number two in the U.S. in video game streaming on the platform, absolutely dominating the space. My community has always been the best support structure in the industry. Real people with their own real-world problems that show nothing but loyalty and understanding of the situation. They are the best. Truly grateful for opportunity to help grow a new hungry platform that represents the type of values I'm aligned with. No more cancel culture, no more suspension. Let's get back to what I've always been about, having fun. Hashtag Rumble Takeover. And Chris Pavlovsky commented, he's the CEO of Rumble, for those who don't know. Cancel culture dies on Rumble's sword. Boom. Falling for the bait is like telling Chris Hansen it was only a text. He was straight up trying to meet her at TwitchCon. Dude, they, they literally sent all of this to a, a judge and criminally investigated the guy who's anti-woke and found nothing. It's like the Chris, it's the, it's the Matt Gates thing all over again. It's exactly the same. So they took something that was this big and then pretended it was this big told everyone it was this big, the judge said it was this big, and threw it out. If if it was that bad, then they wouldn't have had to pay out his whole freaking deal from Twitch. I don't know, man. You said now you sell your shares in Rumble. I mean, you. this is the agree to disagree situation, okay? That That's in the rules. So we can agree to disagree on Dr. Disrespect. I don't think he's a freaking saint, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure he like cheated on his wife and they reconciled and we're fine now. I think the only perfect person was Jesus. Everyone else is just uh, pretending. Yeah. I mean, it, it sounds like it's a, it's literally the headline. Like you got the headline thrown in. They had to pay it out because they illegally disclosed the messages. Are you sure? Cause that's not what I recall seeing. I believe they had to pay out because they were canceling him over the messages and it wasn't, anything criminally wrong so they owed him the balance of the contract and then he settled with them and didn't talk about it until this person came out and slandered him over it and told everyone we got rid of the doc because he's a pedophile so then he put out that statement which the fake news ran with and then continued to push the fact that he was a pedophile and then that ran its course because they already did a full investigation on all of the, the messages with a court and through the justice system and found him not guilty. If he was at the Diddy parties and then all of the feds said, oh no, it was probably fine. Then I might, I might have more superstitions there, uh, but I really don't think so. But it was, it was proven to be BS. You can believe that it was, it was still real. There's people that still believe in the Russian PP tapes. Like there's people that firmly believe in the Russian PP takes tapes in the uh, suckers and losers hoax, great people on both sides hoax, uh, and safe and effective double masking works. I mean, I don't know how we could get this far in and then not think maybe there's what you believe. And then there's the truth and there's a gap because of some lies that are being told. But as I said before, we can just agree to disagree on this one. Now, regardless of what happens, the thought process but from uh, Chris, Chris Pavlovsky, because he came, came in with this, he shows a picture of this these gamers that he brought over to Rumble. And I don't know if they were big before they got to Rumble, uh, but he said, this is where it all started. One of my top priorities is to get more juice into this community. We need a Bongino for gaming. A tide raises all boats. 
uh, in this show is we are just gaming on Rumble, Silver Fox, Pep Killa, Fused Angels, A12 Cat, 3 4 Dog, Uncle Pudge. I don't know all those guys, but I, I've talked to Fox and, uh, and uh, Lumpy Potato. So that's what they're going for. They're trying to bring up the gaming, the gaming uh, category on Rumble. And I think the gamers want in. I personally, I've been a gamer since I was four years old. And on YouTube, I got suspended for a week. And I got a, a stream taken down because of what somebody in voice chat during a game said. And YouTube got butt hurt about it. And then they hurt my channel. And they hurt me. And they suspended me. And gamers don't want to deal with that. Like, if somebody else says something crazy, you can kick them out of your stream, but you shouldn't get a strike and lose money and all that just because there's some asshole in the chat. That's freaking crazy. So here's Elon Musk talking about this, because whether you are into games or not into games, the gaming industry is enormous. It's a huge part of the culture, and it's not very woke from the side of the consumer, mostly. Some of the developers, sure. But listen, so here's Elon last month. Annoying when video game gets interrupted by some DEI woke bullshit. And I'm like, Jesus, I just, I was like, I was playing a video game here. Can you just leave the video games alone? It's, it, it, you know, you, you don't want to do things that, that, that damage art. Um, so it breaks you out of the story. He's saying DEI woke bullshit breaks art. Uh, I agree with that. It destroys the storytelling when you add a woke lecture in the middle of everything. You just pause it, destroy all realism, destroy all immersion, and then you are reminded that it's not the people on the screen telling a story. It's some purple-haired, gender-ambiguous weirdo behind the computer writing the script who's telling the story and infusing their narratives and infusing their agenda into the game. And you're just like, I just totally no longer am seeing some fantasy RPG. Instead, I'm seeing some, you know, chick with the septum piercing and crazy hair. And she's just like raging about feminist bullshit. And you're like, ah, uh, I'm supposed to be killing people with swords, dude. What's going on right now? This is awful. And I got into listening to podcasts like 10 years ago, probably like 10 years ago. And I saw there was a huge emergence of woke, horrible, crazy shit into podcasting. And I think that happened slightly before it really boiled or curled into, uh, into like the main entertainment space of movies and shows. And then the games, it started to get into the games. So it's just kind of this pervasive virus that's engulfing the culture and nobody really likes it. So I think and hope that we're healing as a society against the craziness of it. If you want to catch me live, I'm streaming Monday through Friday, 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern time over on Rumble. So if you want to see me or you want to support me or you want to connect on social media, all links are in the link tree below. And all announcements will be made in the Freethinkers Rebellion Discord server. So make sure that you join up there.